Oh, like, look at these. Oh, they're gorgeous. <laughs> attention and I'm not trying to do that <laughs> but we're at Costco This is my favorite salsa. I don't know they had it in this size though. Oh wait, I need to film a TikTok video. I gotta do it. Okay guys, so I have been making a TikTok this whole time. So I'll have a TikTok down below. It's an Anna Cole Jacqueline, but this is what we have so far. I'll do a full haul when I get home, but I'm not done yet. I want to get some more, like I guess, stuff that doesn't get old as fast, you could say. Um, Non-perishables, but this is stuff that I eat all the time. I'm just trying to buy enough stuff so I have enough stuff because I actually need groceries in general, but you know. You know, I don't have to say what's not being said. <laughs> There's so much going on around me. I'm like, what do I even look? My car is like bouncing. You guys, my best friend, Kristen, told me about these chips and I can like just reach them because I'm so tall. <laughs> I'm six feet tall, I'm like six feet, six one. Um, but my best friend told me about these and we actually had them during our bachelor night and they're so good. So, thing is that whenever I have chips in my house, like I just cannot contain myself. So, those will be gone tonight, <laughs> honestly. Like what are these? Like what even is this? Deli potatoes? Like I've never seen such a thing in my life. Oh, here's what I came here for. That Costco sized pasta and that Costco sized ramen. That's why that is why we are here. The Bonza. Wait. I've had this before and I'm not sure if I liked it. So let's just stick. Let's be safe and not. I will say it's kind of freaking me out because, because everyone has a mask on and gloves. Well, not everyone, but pretty much everyone. And it's a little freaky looking. You know, it's a time. Problem with buying a lot of food in advance is I have no self-control. So I'm pretty much not doing that because I just, you guys know. Macaroni. I want just like regular pasta. I'm trying to buy myself some flowers. These are so pretty. <gasps> Look at these flowers. Why are those so pretty? They're literally green. For St. Patrick's Day. I kind of love that. But these roses though, oh my God. I want to buy myself some freaking roses. That, oh, so much water. I put it in a bag, but it's so pretty. Okay, I want to get some of these. This is very much my style. Brown and red rice with chia and kale. Yes, I need this in my life. Okay, so I always thought that these were only on Amazon, but they're also in store. If you, I think I've mentioned it in a vlog before, but these are the best things. I'm not gonna buy those, I'll eat the whole thing. I'm not letting myself buy more than one bag of this or I will eat all of the chips. I told you, I have no self-control. So if it's not in my house, I'm not gonna eat it. So all that it takes. Let me tell you, Costco is like a breeding ground for bad choices. Cause this is like, I love snacks. So 
here we go. And moderation's great, but I don't have self-control, so. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is. It's a gorgeous day outside. It's honestly so beautiful. Um, but I'm at Target now. I was originally gonna get some stuff for, I'm doing a video, um, like a DIY video, um, but my list is kind of a mess. I need to like sit down and decide which DIYs I want to do. Um, but I for sure want to get some Starbucks and I have to pee so bad, TMI, LOL, but, and maybe we'll just bop around the aisles. I just wanted to like leave my house for a second, but now that I have groceries, I have to go home somewhat soon, but I do have some other stuff I want to get done. I've got some, I have, I get a, um, a grande cold brew with coconut milk. It's my favorite drink ever. Um, I feel so good to be on about, honestly. I literally filmed yesterday all day. You saw you saw the vlog, but I needed I knew I needed to like just get out for a second. I work from home, but it's like this whole thing is like crazy for me because I kind of rely on going to workout classes for like socialization or um, seeing my friends or whatever. Um, but yes, so oh, you guys, I've been super into tie dye lately. It's very much so trendy <laughs> and I really want to do like a TikTok where I, it's so easy to tie dye but also do I want to spend the money on a shirt when I could just buy the shirt already tie dyed <laughs> that's my cross to bear in life they're very cute oh I just love the fashion right now like comfy oh I love it I just am here for it honestly so I'm gonna do a full haul when I get home but yes I'm shopping <clears throat> and I thought I wouldn't do that but like what am I saying to myself I know this is how it goes that dark but I'm in the home decor section, which is dangerous. I'm gonna look fast and get the heck out of here. Oh, it's just so cute. I love it. Look, this This is so like Aspen Overd. In the window. Okay, I'm home now. I. It's literally almost 4 p.m. I probably spent an hour not exaggerating um, with my, I have an iPhone tripod. I was making TikToks taking Instagram pictures, like self timer stuff. And it was great. Honestly, it's so sunny. It's beautiful outside. I had a very like, I feel so good now. Like I got my groceries, I got to, you know, make TikTok videos outside. I went to Target. I actually got something for a DIY that I want to do on TikTok actually. Of course, I'll vlog it too. Um, but as promised, I promised in my TikTok video that I would be doing a like a, a haul um, on my vlog channel. So um, as I do this, I'm gonna stop to like um, get a little recording of each thing. Of all, I got myself flowers and they literally made my whole car, they smell so good. They're Costco flowers, I don't know, but they smell so beautiful. Like, look at these, <sighs> they're gorgeous. <laughs> You can smell them. Will you accept this rose? Ziz? <laughs> this rose is? Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I think I actually just cleaned. Yeah, I think it's cleaned my vase. I'll cut the stems in a second, but love it. Okay, really fast haul because my camera's gonna die in two minutes. Okay, so see um, some mandarin little oranges, some plant based Beyond Burger, walnuts. Some Michigan cherry mango salsa, this mixed nut butter with seeds. These organic dried mango bites look so good. These I've had before, so my best friend has them. They're jalapeno lime chips and they're so good. This pancake mix, I was just like, I don't know, I I just thought it looked good. <laughs> That's why I got it. Um, oh, this has been in my car for like two hours. I'm buying <laughs> um, some fruit smoothie stuff. I, you know, kale, blueberries, strawberries, spinach, bananas, raspberries. Oh avocados, some fresh avocado, some bananas, some everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh, 
they have this at Costco. I have no idea. This is vegan granola. It's birthday cake, nut free, extra grains, vegan. I don't know. It looked cute, but I would try it. Love adding that into my smoothies, into my oatmeal, um, into everything. It's so good. Um, a big oatmeal girl in this household. So I'll eat all that. Like I love oatmeal. And then I got some organic brown and red rice with chia and kale and little packets. I kind of love that actually. So that's gonna be fun. And then I got these smoothies. They are naked smoothies, a really cute little mini strawberry banana, mango, berry blast, and blue machine. Um, I know they're not like the best for you because they're like not, I don't know, but they're better than a lot of things. And they're really easy and like cute to go drink. So I love that. And I got a giant Costco size water bottle thing. I usually don't do that, but because of what's going on, I'm just preparing myself in case I need water. Like. It, this is just me, I will drink that regardless, but I'm just saying like, for, if for some reason there's no water, I can live. And I've been like stocking up over the time now, the past like week or so with water bottles. So I just, and that's the only thing that I'm planning on like stocking up on. And then I obviously have like a ton of food, okay. And I also could just like, if worst case, I could go home home, like to my hometown, hometown. Um, but like, just to be safe, you know? Better safe than sorry, but I'm putting this all away. Oh wait, I forgot my Target stuff. Okay, my camera might die, but I might have to put you guys on my iPhone for a second because it's dying. But from Target, we got, I know, fun parchment paper. Don't have any of that. Don't know why I don't, but I don't. Aluminum foil, really basic. And then I'm gonna do clothes on TikTok. It's like a DIY nerd's rope. You melt gummy bears and then you put it over this and let it harden. And apparently it's like a nerd's rope. I'm not, I don't like candy like that. I like, I'm more of a chocolate girl, you know, over anything, but yeah. And I got some top coat for my nails. And then I got some more of my favorite mascara from L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Um, love this. I have it on right now. It is a good mascara. Love it. Um, yeah. I'm planning on doing my nails. Actually, I can't go get a fill because it's like closed, but I have some really cool like stick on stuff and I want to like, I have a little DIY idea in my head about it. Of course, I'll vlog it. What else am I going to do besides vlog these days? And I got some athleisure that I'm going to do like a TikTok haul. Um, Target and I'm also going to DIY these sandals. I saw a fun TikTok DIY. I'm going to save this though for a YouTube video and I might even film the nerds one like with my nice camera just in case I want to add it into the video when I do post it. Um, I didn't, I was planning on buying the stuff for that video today, but the list was so everywhere. I need to make a concise list. I need to make it, it's like a, I have this note in my notes um, from TikTok and stuff. It's like random words. I need to like sort it out, make it all <laughs> make more sense. And then I'll go back to Target and get what I need to get. Um, and hopefully by then I'll have a better idea with like where we're at as far as pandemic goes. <laughs> um, so yes, putting this all away. I'll talk to you guys in a second. Surprisingly, my camera has lasted five minutes while the battery is flashing. Don't ask me. I don't know. I'm not a wizard but putting this away, putting my podcast on, but yes, I feel like myself again. Um, and the reason why I think, that I already mentioned this, but I don't know what I did, but when I got back from Slime Bash, I was just like so worn down. I just did not feel good. Like that, that happens after every convention. So I was just like sick for the past like week and a half. And then it was like this Monday, so yesterday, I was like, all this lead up. So on the weekend, I was like, okay, I'm feeling better on the weekend. Like Monday, I'm gonna go to work out. I'm gonna do this and this and see my friends at this location and do this with them. And then they closed like everything. They kind of closed everything on the weekend, but I was like, they won't close like, you know, everything, but they did. Um, so, but truly um, making the best of it. I'm really happy that we are making efforts toward flattening the curve. And I was talking to my friend about this today, actually. Sorry, I'll get to the haul in a minute. If you want to fast forward, like I'll try to put a timestamp when I haul it, actually. I'll put the down below for you guys. Um, but about coronavirus, um, 
Are we even allowed to like mention? I, I saw on YouTube somewhere that if you say coronavirus, uh, you get demonetized. I'm like, what? I don't know if it's a thing or not. But I'm like, I'm trying to risk it. It's just so crazy watching this, living through this because I didn't, like I keep asking my mom, I, you know, I'm like, has this ever happened before? Like to this extent with like Ebola and swine flu and whatever, you know, pandemic happened before this and they're just like never i've never heard this has never been this crazy and you know seeing like shelves cleared and people are preparing for nothing i'm like it's just it's been really weird to live through and everyone that i come in contact with like in the outside world at the bank today doing a deposit and stuff and everyone's just kind of like saying you know how it's such a weird time and i'm like it's so weird like it's such a weird time because the sun's still shining i still have work to do um I'm still working, but just knowing that I can't go socialize, I mean, it's not against the law, but truly, like every every restaurant's closed, every bar is closed, um, anywhere that I would go meet up with my like adult friends, like you can't really do that. I mean, you could go to their house, but like you're, everyone's supposed to be practicing social distancing. And it's just a really interesting time, you know? You go to the grocery store, it's a little freaky, because everyone's wearing like face masks or gloves and or both and it's just like it's i mean i'm glad they're taking precautions and like that's awesome but it makes you feel really eerie i feel really eerie about it but i feel better now that i've had like a normal day i'm thankful that i can go to like costco or target or just do my things still um if grocery stores closed, that's something else. That's something else that I don't even want to think about, okay? I just don't. Um, I'm a big, I love conspiracy. I love watching like doomsday movies and not because I want it to happen, but I just think it's interesting to see how it plays out on a movie screen, but I have no interest at all in watching it play out before my own eyes in my own life it's freaky i don't think we're at that level and i'm gonna tell myself that we're not because the more that i talk about it the more i freak myself out um but not trying to add to the hysteria but like it's serious it's legit if you don't feel well stay inside you know i know if you're like around my age or younger you know we're not as um, eats to infect per se. Um, that does not mean we have any reason to be bopping around making everyone else ill. So that's my fit. That's my two cents on that. Um, I do and I plan on recording this week's podcast episode about this whole thing because it is just something that I want to document and I it's like a historical moment in time. It's a very serious time. It's very scary and sad for everyone that that's affected by it and if you are affected by it if you know someone that you know has i don't want to say it but if you you know <laughs> if it has it um I'm, I'm so my heart goes out to you honestly this is it's a hard enough time in general but then to have to go through it with someone that might be a higher risk or it's just like my heart goes out to you my heart, my heart goes out to parents and families and anyone that has to care for not just themselves but care for younger children or just has children in general like I mean, it's just like, it's a really weird time, you know? But I do want to vlog and remember how I was feeling, how I was looking, what I was saying. And because I know, obviously, this is gonna pass eventually. I just don't know when. But I do wanna capture it in some capacity because this is something that is going to be historical and going to be written about in like, history books or people are going to reflect on this 10 years later and i'm like i lived through that that's so weird you know um it's one thing to live through it when you're like 10 years old let's live live through it when you are an actual adult you know a functioning adult you know in your 20s you remember it it's very different and it's just a weird thing i don't know so this is when i get awkward i do this it's just okay though know, one more thing i'm so thankful and very, I'm very aware of my privilege that I and I don't have to change really what I'm doing per se because I work from home anyways. Like I spend my days in my apartment and I have taken measures to work from home all the time because I have moved, I moved my desk home in like my office area, like my filming area into my apartment. 
Um, I've been wanting to do that for a while and I just thought what better time than to do it now because we share. So we have our own space that's just ours. We share like a common area with a bunch of people. And I was just like, you know, what better time than now to, you know, do this. So anyways, <laughs> positive vibes, positive vibes. My, I feel like I'm trying to like uh, embody this let's be positive but I'm not saying let's just be so happy go lucky where we don't where we forget that this is a real thing happening like don't ignore it I'm gonna pay attention to it and be aware of it and watch the news and do whatever but I'm not gonna make it control my life because you know it's just like I can't control it I can only control what I do and possibly let you guys know how I feel about it and what I think everyone should be doing which is keeping their just keeping their space and distance from everybody and just listening to what's being called for upon us let's flatten the curve fast i'm trying to have a good summer so let's do this together and do our part do your part <laughs>